enjoy captaincy or not? Yeah. How did you enjoy today? Uh, yeah, it was good fun. Um, yeah, always a bit more relaxed um, coming here to you know New South Wales cricket. Um, still on TV, still a good crowd around. Um, but yeah, standing around you know all your teammates that you've known for a long time is uh, it was good fun out there. How did you go managing the field while you were bowling? Uh, yeah, it was all right. Um, you know, everyone in the side, I think, coming straight out of Big Bash, knows their fields really well. And, you know, I lean on Steve Smith and, and Moe a bit out there as well to help me. Did the boys treat any differently this morning? No one brought me coffee, so that wasn't a good start. Um, no, no, same. And I hope they still keep me, you know, the same as they always do. Are there any, um, you know, any more nerves at all? Did it feel any different? Uh, no, I was pretty relaxed. Um, to be honest, the, the thing I was most nervous was was um, stuff out my overs, getting my maths wrong. My mum's a maths teacher, so I thought I want to leave that one down if we can get that right. How did that work with giving uh, Steve? Yeah, well, he bowled beautifully to me in the nets here a couple of days ago, so I thought I'd better give him a bowl out here. But um, yeah, so why not? Um, I think you know, even in ODI cricket, we can try and lean on yeah you know, some part timers. Um, a little bit more in case you know we need to play the extra batter one time or something like that. So always good to have people like Moe or you know Smithy bowling lots of overs. I know it probably wasn't an issue today, but how do you think you'll go about as you go forward, knowing when to bowl yourself and how long to bowl that first spell for, when to bring yourself back when you have to make those actual decisions? Yeah, it's hopefully something I you know keep learning on. Um, yeah, I learn on Moe a lot for that because um, yeah sometimes I felt like I needed to give someone else a bowl and he's like you know you should bowl and. And vice versa. So, yeah, I'm sure it's something you know you get a feel for. You, we've all played enough cricket, so nothing too drastic. But um, yeah, it was good fun. Did you win on all these debuts as well? Come in at 74 and hit 50 or 30 balls. That was quite a special innings. Oh well, this is amazing. Um, yeah, so happy for Ollie. I think for someone to come out on debut and play that confidently and freely um, is just a you know a great sign of not only him but you know the team and all the coaches how, how they've worked with him. So. Hopefully he keeps playing as freely, um, you know, as he did then. He's probably the main reason why we got up to over 300. So huge from him. Was it nice to sort of be able to free your arms a bit with the bat? Obviously, captaincy does wonders for your batting as a different sport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was happy to try and uh, swing the bat a bit more. Um, yeah, blocking this summer didn't really work for me, so I thought I had to try something different. Um, here at North Sydney as well, you're only half a hit for a six as well, so it's um, sometimes takes a bit of pressure off our, our batting. Did you come into the, the field against with a, a set bowling plan or were you trying to be really flexible and just see what happened exactly. out there? Try, try to be as fre flexible as possible. Uh, I knew I was going to open with you know, Benny and then kind of see what happens. I was, I was pretty keen to get Lino in um, sometime early in the game and yeah, the rest kind of took care of itself. All good? Thank you.